Good morning, everybody. How you doing? It's your girl, Auntie Pauline, and I'm here this morning with your online inspiration. Have you ever wondered why bad things happen to good people? Yes, I know you have wondered. All the time people talk about it. Why bad things always happen to good people? Hmm? Why life doesn't seem fair? Why? Why life doesn't seem fair? Huh? For instance, the sweetest lady at church who everyone always thinking of, of others was killed. The sweetest lady is at church. Everyone always think about her. Oh, she's so nice. She was killed in a car accident and her husband who was a mean, horrible drunk and beat her every day just walked away without a snatch without a scratch you walked away from that accident you might ask yourself how could god allow that to happen but don't confuse god's knowing my friends with god's choosing yeah just because god knows about it doesn't mean god chose it to happen god has everything has given everything the gift of choice let me go again. God has given everyone the gift of choice. Mm -hmm. He has given everyone the gift of choice. Not every choice you make is part of God's plan. Sometimes your decisions result from selfish desires. You could also factor in that even if it wasn't your choice, you could be affected by the choices of others. So true. There is also the element of living in this sinful world. We'll have pain, we have hate, heartaches, you'll have sickness and death until Jesus comes again. Rest assured, it is not God's desire for people to suffer. In John 10, verse 10, we are told, I am come. That they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. God wants you to be happy, my friends. Enjoy life and be prosperous. But you may have to wait for heaven to experience all that God wants you to have. Thankfully, no matter what trial you encounter here on earth, he has promised that you will never have to face it alone because he is always there to give you strength to give you courage and power to face each day. And remember, each day is a challenge. So, continue to talk to God. Don't get this hearted. Don't get discouraged. But continue to lean on the side of Jesus. And he will take care of you. Have yourself a wonderful and a productive day. And remember, Auntie Pauline is saying, if you can't be good, be careful.